we go. All right, fellas, welcome to the show today. I'm going to start with, um, I left a link for uh, Rick on uh, the Dr. Cress Welsing or Wesling debate with Dr. Shockley. And Dr. Shockley's premise was that African, African descent people are genetically inferior in intelligence and they should be sterilized. Uh, behind him is the eugenics movement. The eugenics movement now goes under child action. That's what happened to them. They went underground and remade the face of it. And now they're, the black abortion rate is sky high. Okay. If you watch the debate, you can see how this is, uh, Dr. Shockley is supposedly an intelligent doctor. But if you see, listen to the debate, you can see that Cress Welsling um, actually pins him up. And you can see him, him him and hawing and stammering and he's not aware of certain things. He can see that he has a one-sided view. And that's what I'm trying to expose here for the Caucasian people on the, on the blog here or V-blog is you got to get out of that one-sided view and jump out of the box, okay? You don't want to be like Dr. Shockley back in 1974. And that's actually still going on today because uh, some Caucasian fellow took the debate, cut it up, cut her out, and put it up with some some nice music, you know, how certain intellectual Caucasian guys are. They put this kind of music on it. Oh, brother. Okay, and then I'm looking at the comments on the channel, and one in particular by a guy named Wise Brilliant. I'll leave the rest of his name off because there are some trolls on this channel. He says... There's a brother that came on here that told everyone that, um, let's see if I can quote him here. Uh, his sister scored 1530 on the, uh, the SAT test back then, and his brother scored 1580, and he only scored 1510. And however, he says anything above 1500 those days was considered outstanding. Uh, he ran a 9.700 yard dash, but his brother was more athletic. His brother, he makes more money than his other two, but his brother is a math slash physics professor and venture firm partner investing in growth equity companies. My sister married a Jewish American millionaire. And um, this is coming out today, how people spoke to him. Uh, this one white guy says, so you must be a, r a real whiz at working the system. The system is breaking apart, though. Oh, and you are a bigot and a racist. That's what he told the fella. He just told him, you know, straight up, you know, this is what happened in my family. And, you know, I make I make really good money. And at the bottom, this this wise, brilliant motherfucker says the troll is lying. Negroes often like to put on airs. There's no such thing as a Negro who does extremely well on standardized tests. That's what the fool said. I've talked about my older brother and his super high IQ, but this fellow refused to believe that there could be blacks with super high IQs. He writes, we also find this sort of behavior among people who pretend that they have won high military honors and medals. It is a felony to dress up and impersonate a Medal of Honor recipient. However, there's no law against impersonating someone who scores high on IQ and aptitude tests. But there are zero Negroes who get extremely high scores on these tests. He said zero. And this is a Caucasian fella. And that's how it is. Another fella, ha, silly Negro savages and their delusional theories. Here, Here's a fact. All non-blacks, that means, you know, if you're white have one to four then the number five neanderthal dna now he's he's that's, i believe make turning lemons into lemonade neanderthals were those troglodyte people the big nose the look like cave they were cave people okay and it's only a recent fact that uh that uh well it has to be my race that bred with them before the Ice Age or during the Ice Age or after the Ice Age, I'm not sure, but 
to produce the um, you know the one percent or four point five percent whatever it is DNA, but but those people were 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 troglodytes. So that's not something to brag about. It's just a known fact that just came out that you, people of European descent have that percentage of DNA, and that's what could have caused a change of the skulls and all that stuff. They like to uh, these people on this type of channel like to brag about. So anyway, let's get in some mail and something real here. Let's see. Let me start with this one. I met this pimp in my town from the captain. Hello, player. I met this master pimp today. He is 54 years old. I asked him how many females he has slept with. He told me he has slept with 650 women and the numbers are still rising because he is still fucking to this day. To me, it's unbelievable. Why? Because he's 54? He told me in his mid-30s he was banging more women, and that's about when I was banging more women too, and getting more women coming to him than the average Joe will get in his lifetime. He was born here. He is light-skinned with Latin background. I asked him how do you coming coming about approaching women. He told me just ignore them. They come to you. They always come. Yeah. And that sh shows more proof to uh, what I was talking about, the Elder Barge type of brothers, you know, light-skinned with uh, mixed brothers. The women do approach them more than they do approach any other type of brother. It is, and this guy's, you know, living proof of that. He writes, it's amazing how he told me this because I was having a hard time engraving it in my head. Okay. Well, I'm glad he told you that so now you can actually believe what I'm saying. I say this because I couldn't believe what he was telling me. I asked him what he, what does he mean by that? Um, and then the fellow writes, just sit and let them come to you without taking action. I, I just couldn't believe it. He just told me, once I reach this level and status of power, till then, I will know what his talking about, because clearly I was having a hard time understanding that. So basically he's saying, you know, once he reaches a higher level of status and power, he'll understand. Hmm. No wonder why a lot of stuff I say goes over people's heads. I never didn't think about that interesting okay let's go go on here also he told me once you realize the truth to the game your mind will be set free and women will be attracted to you like bees to a beehive lol then i asked him if he has heard of any players talking about the game and the ethernet he just laughed at me he said real players doesn't need instructions on how to play because he is too busy hunting and fucking women. That's exactly what I told you, fellas. If you're on the net, then you got problems. If you're watching my channel, you're not a, you're not a full-blown perfect player. You got some issues going on. He told me I should stop surfing the Ethernet and stop watching TV. I agree with him. Stop watching TV and surfing the Ethernet. You guys got to get off the net. You got to get out there into the real world and do the damn thing. That I shouldn't get out. That I, sorry, that I should get out and play and get what, what's mine and keep an eye on older women because they are waiting to fuck young guys like me. He left it at that and had to go somewhere else. Thanks, to your, thanks for your advice, wisdom, and videos. I realized, I finally realized what he meant by ignoring women, especially the hot ones. I finally grasped the truth the truth it to never ever give your power away because once you do you can't have it back it a point of return oh boy it's hard to read bad grammar brother once you give your power away a woman will lose respect for you as a man and you can't get it back thanks for your time and wisdom player supreme keep it up well, thank you there, Captain. 
next one advice first off I just want to say thank you for your free advice and channel that represents growth I am 19 years old and have a strong passion for to become great but one part of my life I feel I always seem I feel always seems holds me back and I'm sick and tired of it every time I'm around really attractive women I get nervous yep so do a lot of other brothers it's no big deal and when I try to speak to them I freeze up because I don't know what to say okay you need to go back and watch my videos start at the very beginning and watch all 1000 videos by the time you get to the end you'll see that this whole thing you're doing is silly and stupid you'll stop taking them off that you'll take them off that pedestal you put them on you mentally put them on that pedestal of hotness okay and that's why you get get all frustrated flustered like a schoolgirl. okay let's see hello I am sorry that you would like your four minutes back I am not an educated black man self-educated that's what I should have named him self-educated I am a man who understands that men of know-how and genuine expression are not appreciated by the society oh, that's that that one dude please do not use my video as a tool to insult me yeah I, mean, I already did a video on that let's go on something something a little better than this gym memberships hey player love everything you do but I think you should warn the people who listen to you about gym memberships I agree with building muscle and everything but this one gym I went to wouldn't let me out of my membership unless I was moving at least 35 miles away or had a doctor's note I just don't want these guys to get fucked like I did well actually you signed a contract comedy kid and I, I will have to take the gym side you know a lot of people try to get out of the contract you shouldn't be trying to leave the gym period okay no matter what you should try to hold on to that gym membership is is if it's your last dollar instead of trying to uh, go there when you feel like it and then sneak out on the contract because that's where I, I remember I've come from that environment and that's what people do so you know you sign you sign a contract and they don't want to let you out because it's a contract what gives a contract if if um, every person just said okay I don't feel like training for a few months I can't afford or whatever and then off they go okay so you sign a contract to pay them you know and it's not that expensive either so it is hard to get out of these contracts like any contract should be hard to get out of you know in fact I don't think they should have the doctor's excuse to let people out of it myself uh, anyway there are, I'm trying to show you the other side to this equation okay the gym's there to make a profit and they know that most people will sign up for the gym and they won't come and I don't know if that's your situation but that's what the a lot of the situation is when they try to cancel it they just don't go to the gym and you really want to get yourself into the gym brother uh, I don't just spit this advice just to blow smoke up you guys asses I'm trying to give you real advice that will work in your real lives off the internet okay so you fellows who haven't taken up on uh, like going to Toastmasters and joining the gym I I I still get it every day or at least once a week a couple times a week or somewhere in there uh, people who say they've um, finally joined the gym or I see it on my forum or I see it on a place I go they finally join the gym or they finally joined Toastmasters on my forum and I've been shouting about it for I don't know four years now join Toastmasters it'll help you become a better speaker but it also helps you conquer your fear and teach you how to have power poise and presence when you open your mouth and that's what you want that will ha that will allow you to gather the respect or gain the respect of the women that you talk to okay they can listen to your voice because some women are very very auditory they tune in on the voice and the sound of the voice that's why I advise that that one dude who thought I was attacking him to really change your voice and I see nothing wrong with bettering yourself out there in the world some people like to sit back when things happen and some people get proactive and do it okay and I want to talk about that in my next show because I just uh, did a post on my forum about that the well-wishers versus the people who who truly become proactive about their lives and get out there and do the work like I've done in my own piece 